Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be doing a video that I'm super, super excited for. I've been wanting to do this even before I went shopping. So um, as you guys know, if you watched my last video, if you haven't, um, I will put it down in the description box below. But um, I told you guys that I was going to New York for the weekend um, to go and walk around New York, but most of all, go for IMAX. Um, it was actually my birthday on the 30th, so I took it upon myself to make a weekend trip out of it. So me and my friend Taylor, we went to New York for the weekend, and we went to IMAX and went shopping and stuff like that. So, um, so yeah, I'm going to show you everything that I bought. Um, most of it is stuff that I bought from when I was actually at IMAX. Um, I spent way too much money when I was actually there, so I tried to not spend money when we were walking around like Times Square and stuff. So yeah, if you guys want to see what I bought while I was at IMAX, then just keep watching. Okay, so the first booth that I went to was um, the Velour Lash booth. I actually stopped there because I wanted to get um, the Strike of Pose lashes and um, the new Carly lash, um, but they were already all sold out of the Carly Lash, so I ended up getting the lashes in the style Strike a Pose, and these lashes I've actually never even heard anybody talk about before on here. Um, they're called Naughty Me. Um, but yeah, these lashes are made from mink fur, and they last a whole lot longer than, you know, the Ardell lashes or lashes that you would get at like the drugstore and stuff like that. So we'll see. I've never had a pair of um, mean lashes before, so we'll see how they work. Next booth that I went to, I think I can't remember what it was called. Um, it was kind of just a, you know, like a beauty supply booth that really carried a lot of brands. Um, and I needed some darker, like foundations and concealers to go in my kit for when I freelance and stuff. So um, I love, love, love the LA Girl Pro Conceals. Um, so I picked up four of the darkest shades. Um, I got the colors Toffee, Toast, Espresso, and Cool Tan. So um, I actually like to use these concealers sometimes as foundation and they're really good to even mix into a lighter foundation or mix into a darker foundation to kind of change the foundation color to match you know whoever's makeup I'm doing so yeah I just got four of these I want to say they were like maybe two dollars a piece if that but they're great in HD photography and stuff so I had to get some more I have all the other colors I just haven't gotten those next thing I got from that booth was the LA Splash Cosmetics um, liquid lipsticks I got them in the color Nymphadora and Latte Confession. They are just two, let me see if you can see these. They dry to a complete matte finish, and these were $12 a piece. Let's see. The next booth I went to was Dose of Colors. Um, if you don't know about Dose of Colors, I'm sh you have to know about Dose of Colors because um, if you have the owner of the company, her name is Anna. She's beautiful and um she was actually there at the booth and i talked to her and me and my friend took pictures with her and stuff she was super super nice um i got the i got two liquid matte lipsticks i got them in the colors berry me which is just a a berry color um a lot a lot a lot of girls on youtube wear this color all the time um like i said they are liquid matte so obviously they dry to a matte finish and they last a really long time. And then I got the color Merlot. It's kind of like a cranberry red color. I, I feel like I don't have anything like this. It's definitely not like a, a true red color. It's like a fuchsia, it's like a fuchsia purple red, I guess. I don't know, it's kind of hard to explain. And then the last thing I got from Dose of Colors is their classic lipstick in the color um, Soft Touch. This is um, one of their most popular lipsticks ever. It's just a um, nudie pink, oh shit, nudie pink lipstick. Um, let's see, can you see that? Yeah, it's just like a nudie pink lipstick with like a, it's a peach undertone, so it's really cute. Really cute. <laughs> no, it's not cute actually. Um, it's really, it looks really good with, um, <laughs> 
like my tan skin or anybody with tan skin, not just me. Um, so yeah. Um, the next booth I went to was probably um, Morphe. That's where I spent most of my money. But I got so much stuff. Like you get so you get your money's worth from Morphe. Like it's ridiculous. I let's see. I don't even know how much I got. So um, from Morphe, I got their M426 brush, which is just a. Um, it's not the, the size of a powder brush. It's more of the size of like a blush brush. But it's just a duo fiber brush. Um, I use these kind of brushes to just like blend all of my powders and stuff out so everything doesn't have any harsh lines. Um, the next brushes I got from Morphe, I got two M433 brushes. They're kind of just, um, they're very similar to the MAC 217 brushes. They're just uh, the white goat hair brushes that are really good for blending. These ones are the um, like thicker blending brushes. I got a couple different styles, but these ones are probably the exact same brush as the MAC 217s. And then, let's see, what are these? I got two of the M514 brushes. These are very, very similar to MAC 217 brushes as well, um, but they're a lot skinnier, so they're really good for, they're really good for detail brushing, detail brushing. They're really good for like defining the crease and stuff like that. They're blending brushes, but they're very like precise blending brushes. So they're, since they're a lot thinner, you can really get into the crease in like small areas and really define them. And then I got the um, M441 brush. This again is just like the um, 217 brushes. The, these are the white goat hair brushes. Um, but this one is a little bit um, comparable to the MAC 27 or 224. Yeah, the MAC 224 brush, um, it's the same exact brush as that, but it has the white goat hairs, so um, it really blends stuff out compared to the black synthetic brush hairs where it kind of just softly blends um, things out. And actually, oh, I got two of those, so yeah. Um, other brushes I got, um, these are part of their gunmetal collection. These are the G17. Uh, yeah, this is the G17 brush. Oh, these are super similar. Okay, so these two brushes are duo fiber blending brushes from their gunmetal collection. Um, the 220, the G2, hold on. The G24 is um, a little bit skinnier than the G17. So, like I said, they're just really good for blending. One is thinner, so it's really, it's a lot better to get into the crease with, while the other one is a lot fluffier, so you can just kind of blend everything in the crease so it's not gonna really do much precision work rather than just like softly blending everything out um then i got an what is this i got a m413 which is just a angled brush with a spoolie on the end of it so i only just i think i just got one yeah i just got one of those and then i got an m505 brush or let's see I got two M, yeah, I got two M505 brushes. They are pointed black synthetic hair brushes. They are, I, I wouldn't say they're comparable to the MAC 224, it's just because these um, come to a point and they are gonna be really good for blending as well. Um, however, with the pointed tip, they are going to be more controlled, I feel like. And then I got, a Morphe E11 brush. This is just like a, a bigger um, angled brush. Um, it's really, it's gonna be really good for um, like defining eyebrows and stuff since the actual angle on it is a lot larger. And then I got, what is this? The M507 brush. This is a really, really small um, pointed black hair, black synthetic hair brush. Um, this is going to be really good for like r really smoking out your bottom lash line. And then I got a, an M200. This, I'm not sure what kind of hairs these are, but it's just like the M2, or just like the MAC 224 brush, 
Um, again, just really good for blending out colors in the crease. And then the last brush that I got from Morphe is the M500. This I thought was going to be um, really similar to the Sigma F35, the tapered highlighter brush. But as you can see, like it's really long, so it's going to kind of be hard to pack all the color underneath your eye, and it's not very dense at all. So it's not going to it's not going to deposit color well, like. It's really, really flimsy, so I don't really know if I'm gonna get much use out of it. You could just use it for like highlighter and stuff on the top of your cheeks, so maybe I'll do that. So, yeah. All right, so the next thing I got from Morphe is the, um, I think this is just like their concealer palette, or maybe it's their cream foundation palette. I can't remember. It um, just looks like this, and it just has a whole bunch of colors, and I thought it would be, it would be really good for my freelancing kit and then I just got their um, 28 count their refill palettes so I got a whole bunch of eyeshadows that I'm gonna fill this up with I'll show you guys the eyeshadows I got I got a lot um, I'm just gonna go over each one that I got and just tell you the names of them because you're not gonna be really you're not gonna be able to see them up close that well so I'm just gonna go through so I got Color Blackberry, Trouble, Mysterious, um, Coal, Flame, Give Me Space, what is that? Yeah, give Me Space, um, Marbleized, Glisten, Cafe, Cafe Macchiato, Deep Skin, Birthday suit, spice, Esta, pearl, this? glow for me, porcelain, radiant, lustrous, deep cocoa, caramelized, granite, and um, nuts for you. Then I went to the Lime Crime booth. I actually, it was either at Lime Crime or Morphe's where I spent the most. Maybe it was Lime Crime. Yeah, okay, so um, from Lime Crime, I got the Venus palette. It just looks like this. And it has really, really pretty colors. In it. It's a very warm undertone palette. It has colors I've really honestly never even seen before. It has the colors Venus, Shell, Aurora, Creation, Icon, Rebirth, Divine, and my favorite, favorite color out of the whole palette is called Muse, and it's like a deep, dark cranberry color, almost like burgundy, I think, I would say. Um, like I said, it just looks like this. So yeah, I'm really excited to use that. And then I got some of their lipsticks. I got the colors um, Babe, Babette and Coquette. Babette is um, like the darker, I would say the darker version of Coquette. Um, it is just a, like a peachy, a peachy nude. So it just it looks like that. And then I got the color Coquette, which is just a more true, a more true nude, I would say. Yeah, it's a lot more nude than the bed is. Um, I don't even think you can see that because it's probably like the same color as my skin. Um, and then I got, oh, um, then I got some of their Velveteen lipsticks. I got three, I got the colors Riot, um, I, I'm pretty sure it's brand new. I'm not sure if it was just exclusively sold at IMATS and it hasn't been actually released on their website yet. I'm not 100% sure, but I got the colors Riot, Cashmere, and Wicked. Um, Wicked is a deep, like a dark burgundy color. These are, these lipsticks, um, they dry to a matte finish. Let's see if you can, this is just the color. It's just a dark burgundy color. 
and then I got the color Riot, which is a really cool color. I don't, I've never had a lipstick color like this before. It's like a burgundy nude. Like I don't, I don't even know how to describe it really. It's almost, oh my God, these smells so good. It's almost like, um, it's almost like the Kylie Jenner lips. It's a really, really pretty color. I'm gonna see if you can see that. It's on, it's literally probably like the exact like Kylie Jenner color. It's like a, it's like a burgundy nude. Like it's so, it's such a weird color. Oh. Um, I got the color cashmere. It's like a gray brown nude color. It's really weird. It's not like an everyday color. I, I don't know if you'll be able to see it like that well against my hand, but it's like a taupe color. It's really cool. I don't own anything like it. Um, and then what else did I get from Lime Print? Oh, I got one of their liquid liners. This is in the color um, chartreuse. It's like a lime green color. I've seen a lot of um, famous like makeup Instagrammers wear this instead of their liquid or instead of their black liquid instead of their black liquid liners. It's so pigmented. It's crazy. It's like bright lime green. Let's see if you can see it. It's right there. Um, and then I got, um, all, I got all of their, um, nail polishes, all, well, all of them except for one. They were sold out of the baby blue one that I really wanted the most. Um, I got the color Peaches and Cream, which is just a, like a pastel, um, tangerine color. It's really pretty. It'll look really, really nice with a tan. Um, let's see. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see. Um, then I got the color Milky Ways. It's just a like a white beige nude color. All of these nail polishes are so opaque. It's it's crazy. Like they're not sheer at all. Like you're gonna need one swipe and then your whole nail is gonna be completely covered. So it's just like a like a nudey nude white, I guess you could say. And then I got the color Parfait Day, which is just a baby pink color. I've literally been searching for a color like this for I don't know how long and I've never ever found a nail polish that comes close to it. It is just a baby pink color but it's like a true baby pink color. There's like no undertone like it's just a basic baby pink but it's so opaque and like so thick. And then the last nail polish I got from Lime Crime was called Crema de Limon, I think. And it's just like a banana yellow color. But again, I've never seen like a true yellow nail polish, but not like a bright yellow. It's like a pastel, like a pastel yellow, but it's so opaque. You need like one swipe and your whole nail is like completely covered. Tarte. I only got one thing from there. They really didn't have that much. Um, well, I mean, I guess their brand isn't that huge, but I don't really, I don't really, I don't know. I don't really gravitate towards Tarte products. I just usually use my e.l.f. liquid liner from Target. That's a dollar and it works fine. But when I swatch this on my hand, I don't think I've ever seen such a black liquid liner before. This is seriously so black. It has nothing on any liquid liner I've ever seen in my entire life. Um, let's see if you can see it. It's right there, um, but it's seriously so black. You have to go out and just swatch it because it's so pigmented, it's crazy, and it's um, a felt tip. I don't really care for felt tips, I guess just because I'm so used to just using um, like a, a brush to do my liquid liner, but felt tip liners are super, super easy to work with to make your wing and stuff. So if you are not very comfortable using a, like a brush or an um, angled brush with like gel liner, a felt tip is a great way to go because it kind of draws the line for you. You just kind of outline it and then fill it in with um, the felt tip. Um, the next place that I went was to Sedona Lace. Um, they actually gave me some brushes because they see that I had a YouTube channel. So I got their 863, which is just like a fluffy brush. And then I got um, one of their 
um, what is this called? Like one of their Kabuki brushes um, for foundation. And then I have two, I have another brush from them. It is just, it's very, I don't know where it went, but it's very similar to um, the 217 from MAC. So it's just like another white goat haired brush. But um, yeah, the girl who checked me out, she's actually the warehouse manager of Sedona Lace. And um, she asked me if I had a YouTube channel, so she searched me and looked up my YouTube channel and stuff and subscribed to me, so thank you. Um, and thank you for giving me um, a brush. And what else did I get? Oh, then I went to Sigma. Um, their booth was sold out of everything. Everything. Um, so I didn't get a lot of the brushes that I wanted. Um, but the girls were there were super super nice and they were all dressed so cute and they were giving away like bags of free stuff so um but the brushes i did get i got their p84 which is from their precision blending collection i think um it's just a precision angled brush i got the f okay um so then i got their precision round brush it's the p82 it's like a small version of a kabuki brush and then I got their E70, which is their medium angled shading brush. Um, they gave me a, um, a lip vex in the color Hint. I think it's like a lip gloss. I don't know. I usually don't really use a gloss. So we'll still gave me a sample of their blush. Um, I don't know what color it's in. Let's see. Let's see. Oh wow, they actually, these are samples of um, two blushes and a highlight and a contour shade. Um, it is in the color Mellow, which is their contour shade. I got their Peaceful Highlight Shade, Born 2, which is their blush, and Serene, which is their blush. So that is super, super cool. They're big samples, that's awesome. Okay, um, so I forgot that I got this, but this is from Morphe as well. This is their brush cleaner and disinfectant. I actually used this before I did the video. It works so good. Like I usually sand over top of my sink and stand there for hours and hours, not cleaning only my collection of brushes, but like my brushes that I use on clients. And I go through so much soap and my hands are prone by the end of the time. It just takes so, so much time. And they take so long to dry too. So this is the exact same thing as the Cinema Secrets Pro um, makeup brush cleaner. Um, this bottle was actually only $15. Um, the Cinema Secrets, I think it's a lot, it's a lot more expensive. I think it is like probably double those price. Um, but yeah, this stuff works awesome. I just dip my brush in it, swirl a little, uh, I dip my brush in it, I swirled it around a little bit, and then I just wiped the excess liquid off my brush. And I'm not kidding you, they are spotless. I sat down, I did the whole, you know, I sat down and did it so it took me no time at all. It's so good. I'm probably gonna go buy like five more bottles of this stuff because it is, it's great. So if you need a brush cleaner, get the Morphe brush cleaner. It's so, so good. And it cleans and disinfects your brushes at the same time. So you know they're getting super, super clean. The next place I went to was um, Nigel's Emporium. What is it? Yeah, Nigel's Emporium. I got some LA Splash Cosmetics um, eyelash kits. These are in the style Hollywood. They are sets of five lashes each. They're really thick, they're really long, they're really dramatic. Um, I got these for my kit. I, th I think I'm gonna put them in my kit. Uh, I'm not sure, but they're super, super dramatic. So we'll see how they, we'll see how they work. Um, I've never had LA Splash Cosmetics um, eyelashes before. So we'll see how like the band works and stuff. So they were only, they were only five bucks a piece. So it's not that bad. Um, they're in the style Audrey Angel, Audrey, Angelina, Marilyn, Dolly, and Nikki. So yeah, those are those. And then I got from them, they also were selling Coco Lashes. Coco Lashes is a really big brand. Um, and I got two lashes in the shade, or shade, two lashes in the style Risqué. They remind me a lot of the Carly Lash, um, but they are a lot, a lot more cheaper. And then I got two lashes in the style Vixen. These um, are beautiful. They are the exact same dupe as the Ardell Double Ups in number 20, 203. They're either 
or Dell 203s or Dell 204s, I can't remember. But they literally are the exact same thing and they're so, so much cheaper. So I've never used any of these lash brands, so I'm hoping that maybe I find like another lash brand that I'm crazy about because sometimes um, Ardell lashes can get expensive depending on where you buy them from, even though they're like a basic drugstore brand. So maybe I can like order these in box. So then the next thing that I got was a ton and ton of lashes for my freelance kit. Um, these lashes that I got um, really cater to brides and stuff like that. Um, these are more natural lashes I don't really go for. I like a big, thick, dramatic lash. Um, but I got six pairs of lashes in this style, number 48. Um, they're just like the, um, what are these? They're just like the Wispies, not the Demi Wispies. Um, Demi Wispies are comparable to the number 43s. I also got six pairs of them. Um, they are more um, flared out. Demi Wispies start out a lot smaller from the inner part of your eyes and they go out and they flare out more in the corners. Um, so yeah, I got six pairs of number 43, six pairs of number 48 lashes, and then I got um, six pairs of the style, what is this? It's the style 117. These are a lot like the Ardell, what are these? Are the Ardell, I'm not really sure. And then I got six pairs of the 119 lashes. Um, these kind of look like a thinner version of the Odell 205 lashes. Um, then I, so then I got the Ben Nye Final Seal Matte Makeup Sealer. Um, this is a waterproof sealant for your makeup. And if you didn't know, um, the Disney princesses at like, you know, um, Walt Disney World and uh, Disneyland, they actually use this on the princesses that walk around in the hot, hot heat and they spray it on their face so their makeup doesn't completely melt off. So, um, And then the last thing that I got from Nigel's was just some stuff to throw in my kit. I got some more disposables of the mascara wands that I used. I got some um, lip gloss, disposable lip gloss sticks, and then I got some disposable lipstick sticks. And those just go in my kit. And then I went, I think, I think this is the last place I went to. Yeah, um, the last place that I went to was the Ardell booth. Um, they were really, they were sold out of so many eyelashes. Um, so I just stocked up on my favorite lashes. I got a couple pairs of my favorites, which are the Ardell's double up in the style 205. And then if you bought so many eyelashes, you got some free lash glue. So I just got the um, dark adhesive glue. I use this every single day. It keeps my lashes on and it's dark. So it's really good to wear if you wear liquid eyeliner. It just hides the band a lot easier. H2O um, is a purifying cleansing solution. It's for a combination of oily skin. I got the 500 ml bottle. So it's the largest bottle that it comes in. Um, and it is a makeup removing water. So you just squirt this, you know, on a pad, or you just squirt this on a pad or a towel or whatever you want to use, and it works just like um, makeup remover, but it's not thick, it's not oily, it wipes off completely clean, it doesn't leave any residue behind, and it wipes off in one swipe. And um, then they gave me a free travel size of the same thing, so that's really cute. Also, we're so cute, and they wrote me a cute little note and put it in my box, and it says, Hi Samantha, it was great seeing you at IMAX. So we're excited to have you add Bioderma to your kit, XO Beautylish. So I thought that was super, super cute. It's like a handwritten note they add in your box and stuff. So thank you Beautylish for two day free shipping and for the cute little note. It's so sweet, I love that. So yeah, um, that is everything that I got from IMAX in my New York trip. This video is in no way of me bragging about anything that I bought. A lot of people asked to see what I had gotten. So you can maybe get some ideas for yourself or you know if you like if you're like me and you just like watching haul videos then just live through me my honey because you did not want to spend this much money literally I have not checked my bank account since I've been home because I'm so sick to see how much money I spent um, but you know none of this stuff was at full price so keep that in mind um, like I said I'm not bragging about this in any way whatsoever I just want you guys to see what I got maybe give you some ideas because people did request this video from me. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and leave me comments down below on videos you want to see next from me and please subscribe. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video.
All right, so the next thing I... Nick, can you bring me a paper towel? I literally just poured lipstick all over me. Are you? Watch your stupid show!